What turns an attractive person ugly? Myth. Their smell. Having a shtty arrogant attitude. Selfishness. How they treat others. Lack of common sense and humanity. I'm surprised I haven't seen this said already. But being unreliable. Like when they say oh we should totally go to this place. Do this thing. Watch this movie. Play this game. ETC. And they neither never follow through on the plan. Cancel at the last minute. Or meet up with you and change what you're doing. Edit. Obligatory thanks for the awards. Pretty sure this is my first gold. I also fixed a typo. Arrogance. The way they treat people. Being an asshole to waiters. Janitors. And the like. Or just being an asshole and having a shitty attitude about everything. I've seen beautiful. Affluent. A game women scream at their kids to get the perfect Instagram pics. Using your offspring as props and turning what should be their best memories into sad photo ops to farm out likes. Huge turn off. We'll always remember this story. I used to frequently have lunch with a colleague. We got on quite well she was an older woman and tried to awesome over me like the others but she seemed to be the most welcoming person there. She wasn't the prettiest of women. Wouldn't even go as far to say she was pretty but still she was a nice woman so this reflected on her face. One day we were eating lunch and she started to scold our other colleagues and just be generally mean about anything and everything. As I went from looking at my lunch to her face, it changed. Her whole facial features appeared to change she looked horrific. It was only for a short second but made me think twice about spreading poison about other people. She turned out to be a nasty person as did the rest of them. Littering. Of course. Edit. Guys stop saying littering and. It confuses me. Extra edit. Kudos to y'all who explained the reference. Social media obsession. Not accepting responsibility. Lying. Being rude to staff. Twisting a situation that they caused. So it's more favorable for them. Them having to be the leader or center of attention in order to be cooperative. So annoying. Personality of a wet mop. Bad hygiene. Bad breath. No deodorant. When I was 15. My cousin's best friend was the cutest boy I had ever met. Until I got to know him. He was cocky and talked down to any girl that he didn't deem beautiful enough to put his charm on. He was never really mean to me because I was one of the boys but that just let me see what he was truly like towards girls in general. He quickly became the ugliest person I knew. In turn. One of the funny looking kids in my class quickly became my crush because he was just so nice. His inner beauty outshined his big ears and crooked nose before the first week of school was over. So yeah. Narcissism is the worst. It's like eating an apple that looks delicious but is devoid of flavor. There is no substance. It's hands down the worst tray I have come across that makes an attractive person ugly and unfortunately. A fair amount of attractive people suffer from this and I'm not sure what the cure is. It seems deeply ingrained and can be hard to spot at first glance. Abusing the fact that they're attractive to be manipulative. It's disgusting what people will try to pull when they think they're attractive enough to get away with it. I shudder at the thought of the kind of emotional damage I would have suffered from this if I wasn't a super cynical person. If I was kinder. More trusting. More gullible. I can think of at least a few people that would have seriously taken advantage of me and probably left me all f up. I've seen it happen to friends and family too. Seriously f-king awful. Ignorance. I hate people that don't know anything and choose to not learn anything new. People who think they're better than others. Who choose to not learn about cultures or people's identities. It just makes me mad. I can see no beauty in a closed off brain. Being a complete moron. Being an asshole. I've met average looking people that just their kindness made them 10 times hotter. 
Also have met really good looking people that I wouldn't even bother approaching because of their negative attitude. Legit kindness is so effing hot. When being attractive is their only personality tray. Chewing with their mouth open. Not being willing to try new things. Went on one date with a guy who listed the 4 or 5 foods he eats then got mad that the Italian restaurant didn't have any of them. I forget what they were but they were child foods like chicken fingers or something. He then yelled at the waiter that he only eats real American food. Strike 2. Treating people like sh tea. Strike 3. Perception of American exceptionalism. I chugged my wine. Paid. And left. 5 minute date. While I was chugging. He asked if I could pop his back pimples. I almost puked on the table. Blaming their sh tty personality on their zodiac sign. Being rappy pushy. No means no even if you have washboard abs. Brian. A car crash. A car crash killed Lily and James Potter. Being stuck up a nasty attitude toward others. Bear attack. Really don't want to sound like a douche. But for me it's someone that's a snobby. Dumb or indecisive. I don't mean uneducated. I mean dumb. Plain dumb. Bad personality. You could be a 15 stroke 10 on looks but if your personality is a 2. This will sound egotistical but I have always been very attractive. My family members are attractive. The men are tall handsome and the women are very pretty. I've always been able to get the attention of women and I've had some long lasting relationships that haven't worked out. Here's the kicker for me and I know women think it's very unattractive. I get extreme social anxiety. Anytime I meet new people or don't know a group very well my brain becomes foggy. I'm not my genuine self. I try too hard. I speak too softly. My throat swells up. And I stress sweat. It's awful and it confuses my partner BC they spend all this time alone with me and they don't see this social anxiety side of me. Moral of the story is not being confident turns an attractive person ugly and it happens to me all the damn time. Virtue signaling. Ya know the type. Film themselves feeding a homeless dude or giving him 20 quid to show what a good person they are or bragging on social media about all the good they do in the world. It's those self same people who say that starving kids are their parents problem right up until it's on trend to help them. It doesn't make you good or even look good. These days unfortunately an obsession with social media. The norm seems to change. Friends of mine. Both male and female. Have told me they do not want to post pictures of themselves without filters on them because otherwise they feel ugly. Female friends have told me they do not want to post pictures without makeup on because they feel ugly without it. All too often. Though. I think that all this editing, be it digital or not, makes people more ugly than they really are because of the added fakeness. This is a personal opinion. I know people who do like the Barbie look. But if we get so far that people think they are ugly when they cannot edit themselves with makeup or with filters. I feel bad about where we have come. Treating servers waiters poorly. Smoking. Edit. Obligatory thanks for the awards. Edit 2. To follow up on this. I'm answering this for personal preference. I prefer no smoking in a partner. But I don't have a problem with things like weed being legal and think they should. It's just not for me. I grew up with parents that smoked and still have lung issues from it. And the smell is just repulsive to me. It also doesn't help that my mom died of lung cancer when I was a kid. But in general. To each their own. Being disrespectful to people for no reason. Treating you like you're lucky to be with them. Frequent and inappropriate use of the word literally. Literally the worst. Wearing a mask below their nose. Being a not nice person. Racism. Vapidness. Prejudice. Fishing for compliments they know are true. Usually accompanied with a giggle. Oh my god I am so bad at singing. That platinum record would suggest otherwise. Time. Their personality. 
how they treat others. Being totally taken with conspiracy theories. So many of them are based on an attitude of ha ha. I know more than you. You're nothing but a sheep for not believing the special knowledge that I have to impart to you. So often their arguments boil down to nothing more than ad hominem attacks. Due to their personality. Personality. Poor personality. Lack of intelligence. Shallow. Alternatively an ugly person can become super attractive if they have a fantastic personality. Outlook etc. I use ugly in inverted commas because I don't believe people can be ugly themselves. I think some other people may think you are ugly. But that's just an opinion. You could argue that ugly is a measure of general opinion. Those that fewer people find attractive would be ugly but that ignores someone's personality. And if one person finds you attractive. That's all you really need. No ambition. Smoking. Alcohol. Some really attractive people become sloppy. Unintelligible. Belligerent. Piles of goo. Some become very ugly. Most end up somewhere between unattractive and unbearable. Homophobia. Racism. Sism. Any form of hatred or discrimination. Also picking on minimum wage workers. Dishonesty. And fanatical religious beliefs. Me personally if I see them smoking cigarettes they go from a 10 to a 3. That piercing just above the lip. Marga hat. You know those really attractive girls that always say ugh. I'm so fat ugly. That. Being old right. Bad plastic surgery and or makeup applied with a paint roller. Being a Trump supporter. A marga hat. Smoking and vaping. I can't breath with these face masks. Not being Shrek. Lack of sense of humor or take sarcastic joke way too serious. Talking too loudly. Manipulation or any other personality problems. Homophobia. I had a thing for this girl in sixth form. Until one day. She made a comment about there not being gay marriage in her culture. With a note of distaste at the idea. I knew she was straight. So it wasn't ever going to go anywhere. But knowing someone actively dislikes the idea of you being able to express love and commitment is a turn off. Littering. Their attitude. A terrible voice. Knew a girl in college who was damn near a 10. Taking a selfie with a Nazi flag. Those weird fking eyebrows. There's no way that you aren't embarrassed 10 years from now when you see pictures of yourself with those eyebrows. Bad hygiene or a messy room. Chill I have depression. This one always gets me. Hot girls posting selfies with dirty ass hoarder bedrooms in the background. Hard pass. Being a bigot. Talking to them. Talk to an attractive person like you would anyone else and after a few minutes they won't be as attractive. Either you'll find out the person is impossible to talk to and find them ugly. Or you'll find out they're normal and see them as a normal person. Lasting attraction comes from a personal connection. Not what someone looks like. Racism. Rudeness to waitstaff. Playing emotional games. Edit. Whoa. An instant downvote? Comma an instant downvote. You should add rude to other redditors to your list. Speaking poorly to waiting staff service based workers. A marga hat. Reddit. Pedo.